Ex-prisoners of Reddit what was the scariest thing you saw whilst on the inside? Where I was. The guard towers were armed with a variety of less than lethal firearms. A fight started on the breezeway main walkway between units. You hear the siren and you have about 10 seconds sit on your app and cover your head to protect from OC overspray. Else. The guards start shooting shotguns loaded with rubber balls at you. One of the guards hit one of the guys fighting directly in the sack with a rubber ball round. Turned the front of his jeans red by the time they got him up and to the infirmary. Apparently lost a testicle due to rupture. Not an inmate but current correctional officer. Once I was speaking to an inmate who was accused and later found guilty of killing five women. He stared at me straight in the eyes and said that's what the police found. Haunting. I didn't get that at first. Found means a dozen other women. In some county jails they have 190 degrees water taps. They're there so inmates can make oatmeal, soup, or coffee without a microwave or any kitchen appliances. Well sometimes when there were fights, you would see an inmate fill a cup with 190 degrees water and a glob full of Vaseline. Then he would throw it on his opponent. Watching that will stick with me for a while. Mainly the terrible scream the man made as the Vaseline stuck to his face. He was taken to medical right after that. He had third degree burns all over his face and hands. Prison officer here. If any of the ex-cons are reading this they may get a laugh out of it. I was working in a high security at risk unit where we housed prisoners with suicidal tendencies. One prisoner in particular liked to fill his mouth with his piss and sh** and spit it on you through the gaps in the doors. One day I forgot to walk wide of his cell and all of a sudden, bam, he hit the inside of the door with the palm of his hand f gave me a jolt and I've been an officer for 13 years. When I turned towards his cell I yelled as loud as I could. He got a fright and swallowed pretty much all he had in his mouth. Within seconds, there was projectile vomiting from the prisoner. The f***ed up part was that we had to clean the cell as the prisoner was taken to medical for OBS. Piss. Sh vomit. It was bad. It's a tough job sometimes. Saw a girl swan dive off the top tier one stint and the next time I went, my cellmate swallowed before she was booked in and died. No one noticed for a day. It was a big dorm and I wasn't next to her. But no one noticed. Everyone thought she was coming off meth and needing to sleep. The girl that jumped off the tire lived luckily. Obligatory not a prisoner but an ex-correctional officer. I once had to work overtime in a segregation unit. The first thing that happens upon entering this unit is we get a call that an inmate who was out on a medical trip was coming back in. And was to be placed into a watch cell. This inmate had been taken to an outside hospital for cutting his arm from his wrist to his bicep. We placed him in the watch cell and went to find a bed mat for him, which was hard cause he couldn't have one with a hole in it while being on watch. He told me that if I didn't get him a bed mat in five minutes, he was going to start ripping stitches. I told him to wait. Went to find a mat and it had apparently been six minutes. Cause by the time I got back, he had torn off his bandages and ripped out every single stitch in his arm. The blood was all over the place. We could easily see the muscle and fat in his arm. He agreed to cuff up, and went on his merry way back to the outside hospital. I later found out he had only initially done it cause he wanted to get out of prison for a while. That fact alone messed me up. Not me, but my husband was in prison as a young adult. He said that they had a way of checking your ego in the spot he was at. The toughest guys would come up to you on your first day and ask how many push-ups you could do. If you were smart you would just sort of blow it off or laugh it off and move on. If you were a stupid show-off or had something to prove you would claim a large number or talk yourself up. If you did that then they would be all friendly and be like oh, let's see it. So the poor guy would do as many push-ups as they could. The tough guys would gas the new guy up. Acting friendly pushing him to do more. They acted impressed and joked around. Then as soon as the new guy had done as many push-ups as possible they would jump him and beat him up. He would be helpless to resist because he had maxed himself out on push-ups. Afterwards any guy with an ego was normally really quiet for the remainder of their stay. Ex-UK prisoner, and even beyond the violence etc. The scariest are spice attacks. 
which are essentially what happens when you smoke too much spice. Reactions vary from severe agitation and psychosis to seizures and vomiting. Saw multiple people having seizures in puddles of vomit and piss and saw one guy cut part of his ear off with a disposable razor and throw it at a female prison guard just to name a few. <laughs> County jail. 10 person cell. There was a mentally handicapped guy with epilepsy. He would seize violently multiple times a day. It was horrific. We would all be standing around and he would fall out trashing for a minute, over and over. They never helped him. This went on for months. He was there when I left. <laughs> How much coleslaw some people can eat? Norwegian prisons aren't really scary. Swedish guy the first knows says his brother was in prison and his scariest story was of a guard having a stroke. I want to live in a country where the inmates feel something like empathy for their guards and vice versa. Okay, so I got a DUI in a neighboring county. I was going through a rough patch in life so I said f*** it and never showed up to court. I figured catch me if you can. Well fast forward a couple months and I end up getting into some sh** and charged in my county. Boom. Extradition. I end up in that neighboring county's prison. Rough stop to put it lightly. So one night I'm in my cell which was on the second tier second floor and they bring some new guy in. Well this guy keeps asking for sh** phone calls, food, and just generally being a pain in the ass. So at one point a CO comes up to talk to him. The CO leaves and this guy is freaking out. He's screaming and yelling and banging on the door to his cell. He called me and he just keeps screaming this and the banging intensifies. It's now boom 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 with him still screaming. Now, when the doors are closed and locked, there's about a two inch gap between the door and the wall. That's what he was screaming through. I see a CO walk up and here he called me and the CO had walked up. Waited for him to scream and sprayed mace down the man's throat through the crack and just walked away. So for the next 45 minutes I can hear this guy gasping for air. It didn't sound good. They finally came back. Drug him out of his cell and down the hall to this little shower. They cuffed him to the shower and ran water on him for a couple hours gasping the whole time. They finally ended up taking him to the hospital. I did a couple years when I was young and dumb. The craziest shit I saw was actually in the county jail and not the state prison. The county jail was right on the Texas-Mexico border so there were a lot of Hispanics. What was weird was the Hispanics born in America and the Mexicans from Mexico absolutely hated each other. I saw a Hispanic from Texas heat up a bowl of water until it was boiling in the microwave we had microwaves in the tank and he then proceeded to throw the boiling water on a Mexican from Mexico's face and then beat the ever loving sh** out of him. That dude screams will haunt me forever. I also saw a guy take a blade from a small pencil sharpener, tie it to a toothbrush and then slice a guy's face from ear to ear while he was sleeping. The guy lived but it looked like a f murder scene. My uncle spent time in and out of prison for most of my life not a bad guy just makes terrible decisions. He told me once that his entire pod went into lockdown and the guy in his cell started to have epileptic seizures due to the stress. I guess this guy had a history of crying wolf and guards were in no rush to assist him. He ended up choking on his vomit and dying in the cell with my uncle watching. Guy laid on the floor for an entire night before anyone came in to check. A friend of mine did a short stint. From what he told me, he was supposed to get paperwork detailing his charges before he got to prison, but did not. This made the other prisoners suspicious as they believed he was a snitch, was trying to hide that fact from them, and they threatened to beat him. An old acquaintance of his was in there and assured my friend that he had nothing to worry about as they had been threatening him for months and nothing had happened. That night while my friend was making his bed a few prisoners ran into his acquaintance's cell and beat him to within inches of his life. They were bouncing the guy's head off of the concrete to the point that my friend could hear it. My buddy says that's the moment that scared him straight. I was in jail once waiting to see a judge. They'd moved me to three different jails in three days for some reason he wasn't a troublemaker and was only in for driving on a suspended license. But I am big and scary looking anyways. When they transferred me to court, I was handcuffed to someone serving life and he was Aryan Brotherhood. I'm Hispanic, but look completely white and have a shaved head. He told me blacks were greenlit and that I had to swing on sight. 
If I saw a black man within reach, I was required to fight him, or they would beat or kill me later. It was a scary, and luckily the COs were aware and kept everyone separate until the green light ended. Not a prisoner, but a former correctional officer, saw a dude detoxing from alcohol die, responded to a maintenance worker stabbing another inmate in the head with a screwdriver, and was involved in containing a riot.